so that you're there in an hour, but in five minutes? Or are you supposed to travel forward an hour and then, you see I've already been lost myself. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm really glad that I'm not a, not a time traveler. Um, but similarly to time travelers, I do actually live in future, right? But it's, it's not a kind of future with like a, a five cars and like, you know, utopia and like everything working. My future, is more mental. It's like, you know, the whole past, the past half a year, I was just waiting for this moment. Well, not, not this moment, but, you know, coming back to Slovakia and you know, moving out to London and finishing my job and so on, right? Thanks. <laughs> and so, like, you know, you can guess that right after this, uh, this show, I will be already looking forward to something else. And then I'll be living in the future for that thing, right? So it's, you know, it's a different kind of future. I like the, the, the fleshy flying cars future more, but you know, it is what it is. Um, and so this kind of uh, closes the, the first first block. So if you have any any uh, opinions, keep them to yourself. Uh, <laughs> and let's continue. Okay, so, you know, just the other day, I was on Wikipedia, and, I mean, I don't know why, it's like, you know, it's one of those things where when you have coffee at, at 10 p.m., then at 10.30 uh, you are, for some reason, looking at, like, some really obscure things on, on Wikipedia, and, well, it turned out that the most common male name in the world is Muhammad. And... You know, it's, I mean, it's, it's just trivia, right? But when you think about it, it tells you something about our world, right? It tells you something about us as humanity right now. And it tells us that parents like to name their children in a really easy way. Because, you know, Muhammad, it has no R's, it has no weird sounds like we have at Slovak. It's just so, so beautifully spoken, like all in front of your mouth, like Muhammad. Like, you, you, can, you can say it even without your teeth, right? So it's like, you know, no matter what happens to you, no matter where you are born, no matter your uh, circumstances, you can still call your child when it's done something bad. Um, but like, frankly, <laughs> you know, frankly, my name is pretty easy too. Like, it, like it's, I mean, my whole name. Like it's, you know, Euro or Arabic, or at least that's how I how I introduce myself uh, in UK. And you know, like, the, the thing is that you can you can spell it all out on the on the US people, right? Then there's like huge huge advantage because you know you don't need to like explain to your coworkers like what is this and what is that. And like, you know, it just works, right? Um, but the thing is that even though my name is so fucking easy, I still fuck up the pronunciation because like, you know, it's short and you know, like no, no sneaky things. And I still struggle with pronouncing R's, right? And if you notice, there are two R's in my name. So, <laughs> so, so it's like, like, thank you parents for giving me such an easy name, which I still cannot fucking pronounce. So, you know, I mean, it's not as easy as, as Muhammad, right? But it's still pretty good. And when we are talking about our, I mean, my name, um, and speaking of the, uh, the keyboards, now, I'm not sure if you guys do it, But, you know, every, every now and then I Google myself. Right? Like, I Google my own name, just to see what, what pops up. And now, I've already done so many times that I already you know, got tired of it. And so, Google has this amazing functionality, which is called Google Alert, which is basically that you just enter the, the thing that you're searching for, like my name. I mean, I don't know why you'd be searching for my name, but, you know, um, so you enter my name, and every time there are new results, 
uh, you get an email with, with the update, right? And so I have this set up for maybe a year, maybe two, like I, I don't really know anymore. And I haven't been in the results not once. And I got like seven emails, right? So it means that it's been at least seven months or like seven new articles. And there hadn't been any any meet. And it's just so so annoying because you know, so it's like this this random dude who I mean well he turns out to be a dude, surprisingly, also in Slovakia. What is what a fucking surprise. Um, and even in Bratislava. And he he makes burgers. Right? And this this burger you wrote, he always, always uh, pops up in the results. And again, it's so ridiculous because like to be to be honest, it's just two articles. It's just two articles, but you know how when you finish or you're reading uh, an article and at the at the end there are like the recommended posts, right? So this this burger you wrote he has done like one or two articles with like you know like local newspapers, and the articles they always recommend his his um, his article or his post. So I always get an update, an email with like, hey, we get result for your article, right? And I open it, and there's just like you know random article with just in the recommendations the burger euro, um, and like to be honest. I mean, like, you know, if, if you are making burgers, you know, there has to be something special about you, right? Like, you wouldn't decide to do that um, just out of the blue. So, frankly, I feel like I need to, I, like, I need to keep an eye on, on this burger you're As in, I'm not sure if you've seen the movie where uh, there's, like, Jet Li, and there's like more Jet Li's in alternate universes, and Jet Li kills Jet Li, and every time Jet Li kills Jet Li, then the energy of Jet Li is transported to other Jet Li's, so all the other Jet Li's get stronger, and there's this one Jet Li who's trying to kill all other Jet Li's, so he can be, so he can become the the one Jet Li. Um, the film is surprisingly called The One. Uh, <laughs> And so, you know, so this is how I feel about the burger Euro, right? That like he's he's making burgers, he's in Bratislava, he's gonna try and kill me and steal my power to, I don't know, to make better burgers or made it faster, I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. Um, so I yeah, I need to keep an eye on him and like frankly I'm kinda glad that I'm getting those those emails. Just to see, you know, just to see what he's up to, and when, when I, once I get the articles of like, oh, so there's this zero barbecue who has killed like seven people. All the other seven people had were called zero barbecue as well. Well, then you know, then, then I know what to expect next. Right? <laughs> um, but beside this one, there is actually one more zero barbecue. Um, but this this dude, th 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 that one is chill. Like he's he's appeared just once and not since. And frankly, like the only place where I could find him on, on uh, online was Facebook, right? So he might be fake, maybe not. Like the, the possibly fake account said that he's he's working in, in chemistry doing something, I don't know. Um, so I think it's chill. Unless he gets killed by the burger euro. <laughs> At which point the burger euro will get the power of, of uh, chemicals to make, I don't know, like poisonous burgers and then he'll just kill them really easily. <laughs> um, so, so yeah, so that's, that's how it is with my name. But, you know, like sometimes, sometimes I wonder like how, how things would be if we actually tried to, uh, try to, you know, work on something together or even just live together, right? Like imagine that you have like at least like three people called you Arabic, and somebody comes knocking on the door, and they're like, like, hey, you're police. We found we found five dead bodies in, uh, in your backyard, and we're looking for somebody called you Arabic. And we'd be like, yeah, which one? And they'd be like, well, it's a guy. Like, yeah. Um, well, they live in Bratislava. Yeah. And um. 
Yeah, sorry, we don't have more info on them. And, you know, like, the three of us all in, in the door, right, just like, leaving, you'd be like, well, either take us all or not. <laughs> and I guess they would try and take us all. But since we would be so strong already from all the other dead, uh, you were <laughs> there would be no way there would be a, a dead, they would take us.
little surprise. So I have a GoPro. And I'd like to give you a taste of what it felt like. Oh. So this one, this might take a couple of minutes to set up, and two, it might not work at all. Uh, <laughs> Just like a bladder. <laughs> it is. <laughs> okay, so right now it's, it's looking at my approach. Uh, it also looks like the cable is short. But let's see if. Can you actually hold it for me? Sure. Yeah, so hold it on my, my head. And I'll try to strap it all. standing there, right? And I was I was looking forward, well, I was trying to look forward, but like every... <laughs> like, look me in the eyes. <laughs> you know, like every, every, every moment it was like, you know, that I was like trying to look forward, but you know, I was always, always <laughs> looking somewhere else. I couldn't keep a steady, steady, steady sight. And it was just like so, like so, so nerve wracking, and like you know, I, I was, I didn't know what to do. <laughs> and so the thing is that I always try to move it here. Um, this actually doesn't happen only at the urinals. It turns out that. Um, oh yeah, I mean, I'm not talking about the like the. Missing, missing part or the sound part. I mean the like the stress and like not being able to look around and there we go. Now, so it turns out that it happens to me it happens pretty much every day. Like even when I was on my way here, like it was so in the last year, many things happened, but also something happened, and I, like, the, you know, the best way how I can describe it is that I'm just, well, I'm just so, so anxious that I'm unable to look at anyone on the street. And so what I'm doing every single time is that I'm walking somewhere, but I'm trying to avoid eye contact. And so, you know, I always have to make weird, weird ways, especially when there are like full places like this, because, you know, I cannot make eye contact because I don't know why. And, you know, I'm just like, you know, imagine I wanted to go there and like, you know, where, where do I look when I go past you guys, right? Like it's, it's, it, it's just so, so dark. So, yeah, this, that's how am I way here? <laughs> if you were, if you were wondering. And so, so this is my, this is my story with, uh, with your. <laughs> I'm surprised that so far I haven't fucked up. I mean, 
Major. <laughs> Major. <laughs> Than what, what is really going on, right? 
<laughs> so it's like, you know, so it's like, you know, reality is, reality is nasty and reality can be difficult, but on social media, we have a tendency to kind of, like, you know, hide away the, the stinky parts, right? And real life, it can even have, like, I mean, I've illustrated here as, a, as veins, because our lives can be in vain. Um, but we don't show that on the social media. And so, you know, so it is true, it is true that there is that this sort of difference and that we should uh, <laughs> you know, we should we should take everything from social media with a grain of salt basically. Magically, it will be fixed, and 
you know, I, I don't want to end up Like on this topic of overthinking and, and uh, these topics, like I, so you are going to give you a bit of taste for it. Like I, when I was a teenager, I never knew what I wanted to do. I never knew who I was or how to describe myself, right? But back then, I felt like I, I just didn't have enough for it. Like I, I didn't know how to do like how do you describe this? Um, then there was like a glorious short period when things felt fine. But now I I struggle again. Right? Like you ask me like who I am, how how am I? And I'm like, oh, 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 oh. because there's like there's about like five hundred thoughts that I would tell you. There is about like twelve good words that I can describe how I'm feeling right now, and they are all valid and true because you know there's just so many layers to myself. But I'm una unable to communicate that because, uh, you know, our our commodities. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so they just um, they just broke my uh, emotional uh, spiel. <laughs> but so you know, there's just so little time in every conversation, and there's just like such such a dense experience of who I am or how I feel to be that it feels impossible to communicate who I am, right? So it feels like it feels like the world is closing down again, but now for exactly the uh, opposite reason. And you know, I feel like, I mean, you know, like there, like, let's, let's be honest, like when I compare myself to, to my teenage self, then some things are likely better. When I was teenage, um, that my my inner voice it used to say like you're shit, but it also also used to say like you should be grateful. Your life is amazing. Like you have no problems. Everything's amazing. And if you dare to feel like shit, well fuck you, you piece of shit. Right. So it's like, you know, what what do I do? Like, so am I shit or am I not? Like, should I feel like shit or should I not? Like. Like, when your brain is so hostile towards yourself, then what do you do? Um, but, you know, so as I was saying, like, some things have likely changed. And that's also the reason why I'm standing here and, like, you know, why I feel like I'm, I'm capable of, of speaking about these things. Um, and, so thanks to that, I have a I have a great su suggestion for you. So if you if you have any any friend, right, like who who has a bit of a low confidence, you need just two words to fuck up their day. Just two words, and it's not lucky. You know? <laughs> and anybody dares to to guess the words? Close, close. <laughs> but, but I got even better. I got even better. You sure? <laughs> no, that, that's, that, that's the word, right? Like, you know, they, they can do anything, anything. Like, they can do like weeks of preparations. They tell you they're a class, and you just go, you sure? And you know, they, then you just have to watch how they, you know, how they implode slowly, and just how everything collapses. Because although you didn't think of anything specific with that new shirt, they will find a way, they will find a reason, they will find a connection, they will apply the new shirt to every single thing that they did in the last 12 hours. <laughs> they, will, they will make sure that you know, every single relationship that they had in the last, uh, last couple of years will be subjected to new shirt. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm glad that this this doesn't apply to me anymore. You sure? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, there's one one thing that still applies to me is is people pleasing. Do we have any any people who feel like people pleasers? There's like the ones who are like when somebody tells you like, oh, can you make it a five? And you're like, oh, sure. 
and then they are like, oh, can, you, can we move into seven? And they are like, yeah, sure. And then you just like, you know, move all your weddings and funerals and everything just to make sure that you can meet with them at seven. Well, so, so I, I wasn't stabbed yet. I mean, maybe, maybe after this show, I might be, who knows. Um, but, it, you know, like, you, sometimes you, you, you know, you fantasize, right? So, when I, when I think about getting stabbed, or if I, if I think about, like, how the scenario would work if I was mugged and stabbed in the process, then, you know, frankly, I feel like it would be like, or no, let's, let's put it this way. Other people, they would be like, ah, oh my god, Jesus. Okay, so like, you know, like when you get stabbed, but like, <laughs> regular stuff. Um, in my case, I would be like, ah, oh my god. Oh no, blood all over your t-shirt. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. Blood, blood in your shirt. Jesus Christ, that'll be really hard to do. Oh, oh my god. Just 
survive that plague of death. Um, and like, like, do we want to be a nation of like those kind of pigeons? <laughs> like, if you feel like so, so I studied in Edinburgh and Scotland, and there, my God, the, the pigeons. It was like the, the chunkiest, you know, the most round bird I've ever seen. It's like a floppy ball with with uh, bare wings, and like you know, it looks like you could even dribble with it. Um, and you know, like they were really glorious. So you know, my guess would be that if we if we were to choose a pigeon nation, then it wouldn't be Slovakia. It would be Scotland. <laughs> so you know, so because of that, I was thinking further of like, okay, so maybe. Maybe even originally they didn't mean like the you know the physical shape of pigeon, which sounds very good when you say it like that. It's fun. But then you know maybe 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 it was something else. But I was like you know thinking I'm like okay so what could it be? Like we maybe we we behave like pigeons. Could be. But I don't see any people like shitting on the floor, <laughs> and, like or like you know like climbing up um, up, up the ladders just to shit on, on passerby. And like, can you even imagine how difficult that would be to pull it off? Because it's like you know, like if if you climb all the way from up to the lab and like you know, like try to like you know, position yourself for a hit, then you know, so the thing is like if you. If you do it and just as a like you know, with our regular diet, then people will think that you're a monkey. Because like you know, they'll see like a brown poo falling down and they're like, okay, so this this guy thinks he's like got the monkey and I don't know what. So so it's like how how the person persuade us that he's really pigeon? <laughs> so, so the other thing I can think of is that he would have to eat some like really nasty, nasty stuff to make sure that the consistency is... <laughs> I mean, you, you, you can imagine, right? And only then, only then, like when you would see somebody sitting on the lab and like, you know, like using binoculars to pinpoint his next victim, only then you would be like, okay, so this, this guy is really weird, but his shit is white, so I think he might be a bitch. <laughs> and, you know, like in that case, in that case, I would be like, yes, this is a nation of pigeons, or at least one, one oversized manly pigeon. <laughs> and that wasn't all. I mean, it was all to the pigeons. <laughs> but you know, so as I was saying, like because of the of the anxiety that for some reason still sticks around that that I had every time I'm somewhere. Well, um, I tend to hold thoughts. I, I tend to just kind of choose the direction, or like you know, I just look at, at the place and the destination where I'm going. And, I'm going. and <laughs> I think it would be best to actually well, to, to show it um, how it looks because yeah. So I'll need um, I'll need three people, and if we if we have like somebody really tall. Or, Possibly the tallest person here, then please stand up. And I think I already have a. Uh... <laughs> also, I'll, I'll need two more people. Um, and any any size, uh, any size, any height. Come on, come on. For you guys. Awesome. So. This will be very technical. So, so I was at this, and this is a real place, right? So, so you are doors, all the many doors, right? So, so if I like walk towards you, or like you know, let's, so you know, doors they open and close, right? So, you'll be doing something like this. So now you're open, now you're closed, open and close. It's like if you see a child above, it's like just do it. Right? Exactly. Perfect. Perfect. So. You know, since, since we are walking around the building, 
and you know, building usually has one door, and uh, well, this door, uh, this building has two pillars or columns. Then I will need each of you on the sides of, of the of the main doors, and uh, and move a bit forward. Um, yeah, a bit more, a bit more. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so so this was the scenario, right? That um, I I was I was going from here, and the automatic doors were on the left. Now, if you were normal, then you know you would just like walk around the pillar. But because I was already like uh, 50 meters from here, and I was already trying to optimize the way through. Then I was like, okay, so if I take this angle, I can just go, you know, to the right of the pillars, to the left of the doors, and just make it through. Right? And so, so it's just like, you know, go. Oh, yeah, you're supposed to. Faster. <laughs> so I was, you know, I was like, I was, right? I was like going towards it, towards it, and actually, I still managed to hit hit the column because I'm so clumsy. But yeah, so I actually managed to. Get, get through, and, and I actually managed to get through. And this <laughs> this joke has no point. I just wanted to give you a little stretch. <laughs> Thank you guys. And please, give it a look.